What is up, everybody? Welcome to another brand new video. This is Searching for Hits with Eric. I am Eric, and I'm really excited to bring you this video. Um, got hold of, um, for my birthday, actually, a second box of Three Brothers and a Card Store, first edition. Um, if you haven't seen the first box of these that I opened, take a look at that video. I was wildly impressed. Um, these go for about $60, $70 online. Um, they are all repacked. There's 10 cards per pack, 26 packs per box. Um, all different brands, years from 70 to present. Um, they guarantee an autograph or relic in every box. I had three in my box, so it was quite a good box. Um, can't say enough about it. I was so impressed. Um, I had to have another one. So here we are, and we're going to rip on into this. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the video, please do so. Love to have you along for more content. Also, like the video, hit your alerts. This way you know when I post new content. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, we'll see if we get our value back. Last time I probably got at least two times, if not three times, the value that I paid for the box. So let's rip on into this. Three Brothers and a Card Store baseball wax packs. Um, they're not actually wax packs, if I remember correctly. They were foil, but we won't criticize. And there are the packs. Really slick design. We'll get these all out of the box. One thing that really impressed me was the quality of the vintage cards, the 70s cards. They were all really clean, really nice looking. So let's split these on up. In fact, I'm going to just keep them in a big pile over here so that we can put all of our big hits on screen. And there were a lot of them last time. So just give you a quick close up of what the pack looks like. Uh, again, three brothers and a card store baseball wax pack wax box first edition. So here we go with pack number one. Now they set the bar pretty high. Oh, and here you go. If you want their information to look into getting one of your own, you can check them out there. So they set the bar really high with the first box that I got. Um, if this box is even half as good as the other one, I'll still be getting my values worth, at least in my mind. So here we go with pack number one. On top, we got a 1996 MLB debut of Craig Wilson from Fleer Tradition. So you'll see a lot of these cards are quasi-commons, um, not the greatest cards, but um, you'll get some pretty good hits. There's a Glaber Day from 2020 Series 1. Um, not a huge value, not his rookie. We got a Bobby Estrella from Fleer Tradition. Uh, that's going to be Fleer uh, Tradition from 98. Uh, Dave Smith. We got a Derek Lee draft uh, MLB debut card from Fleer Tradition. Uh, Derek Lee, if that's the Derek Lee I'm thinking of, which it is not. Um, I was thinking of the Derek Lee who played first base for the Cubs for quite a while. This might be him. I don't remember him being a Padres prospect. Uh, Jesse Orozco from 91 Tops. We got Donruss 91. Uh, Lance Parrish. We got a... Let's see, this is a 79 Prospects card. Really good shape. Um, unfortunately, those three do not ring a bell. Um, I don't remember any of them, to be quite honest. Um, Byron McLaughlin, Greg Birkovitz, and Bud Anderson. So, pretty great condition, but unfortunately not a big star on there. Um, Brent Knackert. And we got a Fleer 93 of Rich Robertson. So nothing too crazy in the first pack. Let's see what's going on with the second pack. Hope everyone had a nice weekend. 
Tomorrow is obviously Monday. Um, we'll post this as sort of a quasi mystery box Monday type video, but again, I couldn't wait until tomorrow to get into these based on what I found last time. So right off the top, we got an Art Howe from 1981 Tops. Um, Art Howe had a, a good managerial career. Uh, we got a, a select Yachty Molina, um, Panini Select 2018. Not a numbered card, not a prism, but really nice card. Future Hall of Famer, Yachty Molina. Uh, Chris Archer from Allen and Ginter 2018. Uh, we got an Anthony Goose. I believe that's, yeah, that's a heritage, so it's a re- print card um actually no it's just a heritage card i just don't remember anthony goose or goss uh we got an 83 tops pete lad uh mike maxudian i don't remember him uh kenny rogers we got a cooperstown collection phil necro uh tim bertsis and a mark grace score 90, 91, I believe. Score 91, Mark Grace. So, again, nothing too exciting, but we are early on in this break. Um, I'm expecting this to go for about 45 minutes to an hour, given the 26 packs. Uh, definitely want to go through them pretty carefully and see what we find. Uh, what do we got on top here? We got a Buster Posey Bowman Platinum um from 2019 i think that's some sort of a refractor i don't know if you can catch the glimpse or the glimmer on this card it's not numbered but um it's a pretty cool card right there uh we got a ray sadeki again in great shape from 1975 there's a 75 tops card louis salazar uh, we got Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer from 87 Tops. A Christian Yelich. Is that a 2020? That is a 2020 Series 1. Uh, Gerald Clark. We got a Trevor Rosenthal from Heritage uh, 2014. So that's a second year Trevor Rosenthal. Uh, we got a Jay Buner from Fleer 89 and Steve Garvey to end off that pack. So a couple of interesting cards, got some a uh, couple of Hall of Famers, which is nice. Next pack up. Probably shouldn't have my expectations set too high with a product like this, but again, first box I opened was just off the charts cool. Uh, we got a Matt Moore, Tom Brunanski, Julio Franco, who played forever. This is a 91 upper deck. I think he still had who knows how many years left after that. Uh, Rafael Palmero from 88 score. That's the inaugural score set. Rafael Palmero. Uh, 3,000 hits, 500 home runs, and we'll never see the Hall of Fame because of PEDs. There's an 87 tops. We got a Fleer 97 Hideki Rabu rookie card. That's pretty cool. He had a few good years. Um, I know he had some issues in New York, uh, but uh, we'll put that on screen for now. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got Todd Fronsworth. We got a Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy from 84 tops. Again, immaculate, immaculate condition. I don't know if you can see that, but the corners are sharp. There's no writing. Um, slightly off center from top to bottom, but um, cool card. I'm gonna throw that in a penny sleeve real quick. Um, like Dale Murphy a lot, and uh, very good condition right there. Let's see what else we could find. We got a Rogers Hornsby from, uh, what is it, 2016? I don't remember. Um, and a Victor Martinez opening day from 
2011. So 2011 Victor Martinez. So getting a couple of good cards out of that pack. Next pack up, still looking for, um, for my first hit. Um, I know they only guarantee one. It would be great to find a few, like I did last time. Let's see what we got. And we do have a hit. It is a Bowman Sterling certified autograph of Tyler Goodell. Tyler Goodell from 2011 Tops Sterling. Um, so not a big name, but it is an auto, which is cool. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays prospect at the time. Uh, he had no major league experience at this time. Um, so Tyler Goodell, not sure if he's still playing in the minors, but we do have ourselves our first hit. Let's see what else is in this pack. Uh, 84 tops, Dan Bill Billardello um, was his rookie card. I don't remember him ever going anywhere further. Uh, we got a Mike Schmidt retires from Upper Deck. Mark Salas. We got a Ken Griffey Jr. Gypsy Queen card from 2013. Um, I love Ken Griffey Jr., so that is pretty awesome right there. Anything Ken Griffey Jr., I certainly don't have that card of his. Okay, let's see what else is in this pack. We got Mike Schooler. We got Scott Fletcher. Oh, look at that. We got a Mets team card from 78, I believe. Um, love the New York Mets, and this card is in great shape. So I will sleeve that up, and I will call that a hit for myself. So, pretty awesome right there. I'm actually going to pull this Arabu off to the side. Um, similar as last time, we're throwing some, some better cards up there, and look what's right underneath. We got a Jim Palmer. Jim Palmer from 1981. Donruss. Um, or Fleer, excuse me. Premier edition of Fleer, Jim Palmer, Hall of Famer. Very nice card right there. And we got a Dave LaPointe from 85 Tops to finish off that pack. <clears throat> so the packs are getting better. Uh, got our first hit. I love that 70s Mets teams ca team card, which I don't have in my collection yet. So that's pretty awesome. See what is in this next pack if I can get it open. This one's giving me a little trouble. I don't want to ding the cards because they are in such great shape. All right. On top, we got a Ken Griffey Jr. Says of Ralph Kiner. Uh, Gowdy throwback card. Pretty cool. Got a Jack Morris Hall of Famer. One swing, three RBIs from 88 Fleer, uh, talking about Mike Marshall from the World Series. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Lavalier, Ken Herbeck. We got a Bernie Williams from Fleer 97. Fleer 97, Bernie Williams. I will uh, I will put that one aside for my cousin Joe. That's, a, yeah, that's an insert also, uh, encore card of Bernie Williams. We'll put that aside for, for Joe, he'll love that. And we have a archives from 2011 of Orlando Cepeda. Not an original Orlando Cepeda, but a Topps archive. Pretty cool. Okay, let's get into the next pack. Looks like we're about a quarter of the way through tracking right under an hour so we'll see where we end up in terms of time as i drop the pack appreciate everyone watching tuning in let me know what you think about these cards what your favorite card is 
Um, and uh, did I get my money's worth um, again? Again, I'm looking for about a $60 value. That's uh, the ideal here. We got an Upper Deck Legends Jimmy Fox card. Pretty cool right there. We got a Chipper Jones Bowman. That's a 94 Bowman Chipper Jones. Not his rookie card, but early on in his career. Look at that young Chipper Jones right there. We'll put that in a sleeve. Pretty nice card right there. Uh, we got a Mike Myers. Joey Wendell from uh, Big League last year. Ken Phelps. Vince Coleman. Jim Holt from 80, uh, from 76. Again, take a look at that condition as I drop it. Dropping my cards here. Let me just get situated again. Apologies. Just to show you, this is unedited as I am making a mess of myself. Um, again, look at the corners. Well, there is a little nick um, chance I did that. So we won't talk about that anymore. Uh, batting and pitching leaders from 84 of the Dodgers. We got a Randy Moffitt from 74 tops. Pretty cool right there. Again, great shape, no markings. And a Johnny Franco. So interesting pack right there. Hopefully I can stop dropping cards. That would be nice. And let's see what the next pack has for us. cut this one because it doesn't seem to want to open and I don't want to damage the cards. All right, so we got Mike Flanagan, we got Luis Quinones, we got a 1970, 78, 79, Glenn Borgman, Daryl Evans, Juan Marichal, That's got to be a reprint. Let's see. Yeah. That's certainly a reprint card. You can see right there from 2016, I believe it says. Uh, from Topps Heritage, maybe. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We got a Ring of Honor Mariano Rivera from 1999 World Series champion. So I'm assuming this will be a, 2000, oh, this is a 2009 Mariano Rivera, pretty cool. We'll put that over here as well. Uh, Gary Reedus, we got an Ozzy Smith from Topps 94. And last card of this pack is a Manny Alexander from Fleer Tradition. Okay. Sorry about that, just knocked into the camera. All right, next pack up. All right, leading things off with a 76 Daryl Knowles, Bobby Mitchell. Got some vintage cards in this pack. Bill Melton from 74. Again, really, really good shape. Scott Kamenecki. We got Wes Helms. Rupert Jones from 79. Uh, Ken Griffey Sr. A victory card of Jorge Posada. Put that aside as well. Uh, 78 Bob Alchinko and a Mike Schmidt from Fleer 89. Mike Schmidt Hall of Famer. So getting a lot of interesting cards. Uh, certainly have not gotten my value quite yet. But we have quite a ways to go here. Next pack up. Okay. Got a chipper on the back. Uh, 87 Leonard on top. 
We got an Adrian Brown rookie card. Adrian Brown from the Buccos, Fleer 97. I don't remember Adrian Brown. Uh, Jeff Hewson. We got a Mad Bum, Madison Bumgardner from 2014. Pretty cool. Alex Gordon. That's going to be from 2013. Tops Heritage, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty cool. Throwback to 20 uh, to 1990. We got an opening day of Josh Johnson. We got a Jason Schmidt. Fleer Tradition from 06. There, we got another hit. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, Evan Mazzilli. Evan Mazzilli from Extra Edition 2013. 2013. I'm um, wondering if he is related to Lee Mazzilli. Oh, that's Marzilli. Evan Marzilli. Oops. Butterfingers tonight. Oh, my goodness. But regardless, we got our second hit, which is awesome. And we'll finish this pack out with Bill Allman and a Chipper Jones Prism. A little bit marked. Panini Prism Chipper Jones from 2013. Pretty interesting card. I don't think I've ever seen that card. Put that right with that other Chipper Jones. Um, but there you have it. There's two hits now so far. And we're probably approaching the halfway mark. Not quite there yet. So we'll see what we get. Maybe we'll get three hits again in this box, which would be pretty awesome. All right, next pack up. Got a Mike Boddicker on top. Mark Gardner. Got a Ryan Braun, National League Rookie of the Year card. That's his, uh, his second year card. Not his true rookie, but... Ryan Braun had a really nice career. Um, I think he just hung them up or is going to hang them up this year. So we'll put that in a sleeve. Throw it up there. Okay, next up is a uh, Kelvin Torve. Uh, Mets prospect from early 90s. Never really turned out to be much. Mike Young, Tom Pagnazzi, Rick Aguilera. There's a nice Kirby Puckett from 87 tops. Like Kirby Puckett a lot. Uh, checklist with Tim Salmon on top and Rex Hudler. <clears throat> All right. Let me see how many packs we got left here. All right. That will be the halfway mark. So two more packs till we hit halfway. See if we could do even better than three hits. That would be something else. Um, so far, again, pretty happy. Um, would love to see even more. Uh, Kaz Matsui. Mets fans will remember Kaz Matsui. What a, uh, well, I don't call him a huge bust, but certainly did not live up to all the hype. Uh, we got uh, Fernando Rodney from a 2018 Allen & Ginter. Uh, Matt Young from 84. Uh, Scott Ruffcorn. He was a top, top draft pick. Um, this is actually his rookie card with Fleer. Um, he didn't pan out to be much. Eddie Zosky. There's a Jerry Johnson from 71, if I'm not mistaken. No, 73. Jerry Johnson. Again, really great condition. Corners are relatively good. Um, better than you would expect from a 73. So pretty nice there. We got a Henderson and Canseco. Diamond Skills Checklist card. Uh, Bob Feller Cooperstown Collection. We got an Albert Almora. And an Aristides Aquino. Um, both from 2020. Um, Aquino, his stock has dropped immensely, but um, we'll see what he does. Maybe he has a bounce back and Mark McLemore. 
Um, I'm still gonna penny sleeve up the Aquino. I'm not gonna count it as a card to display on screen as of right now, but uh, we'll see what happens with Aristides Aquino. And the last pack of the first half of this box. Let's see what we have. Got a 92 Donruss Chuck Krim leading things off. Uh, Tom Candy Adi, the knuckleballer. Uh, we got a Griffey Jr., another Griffey Jr. from Score 96. That's another one that I do not have. Let's put that in a sleeve. Uh, love Griffey Jr. I believe that's right before he went over to the Reds. Yeah, he was uh, still a Mariner. Doing great stuff over there. We got a Freddie Freeman from Bowman Platinum. From 2018. 2018 Bowman Platinum Freddie Freeman. MVP. Nice looking card right there. I'll put that up here. I like that card. We'll see if it gets bumped off screen by something nicer. But for right now, we'll give Freddie Freeman as an MVP a little bit of screen time. Uh, we got Buster Posey. Another hit. Look at this one. Jariel Cotton. Certified auto. With one of these see-through acetate cards. From 2017. I'm not sure what this is. Is this Zenith or something? Tops. I'm not even sure what set this is from. Um, it's not numbered, but it's got this really cool acetate design. Um, I gotta look into this a little bit more. I'm not sure about this card, where it's from. So if you do happen to know, leave a comment, let me know. But um, that's three hits now in just the first half. Um, I don't know if we've gotten all the hits in the box yet, but uh, holy cow. We got a Randy Johnson from Allen and Ginter. Uh, Randy Johnson, obviously a Hall of Famer. I'm just trying to see what year this is, 2012. Oh, 2017 Allen and Ginter. Says it right on top. Uh, Dave Goltz from 76, 75 tops. Gary Matthews from 84, had a nice career, and Mark Gardner. So, halfway through the box, short of a half hour, which is good. We're going to be tracking less than an hour. Um, hope you're uh, enjoying the video, sticking it out with me for this whole box. Um, I could have split this into two videos, but quite honestly, I was too excited to see what I would end up with. Again, based on the first box I opened from them. And uh, second box is not disappointing yet. Three hits already. Uh, starting it off with Wade Roden from 87 Tops. Don't remember him. Eric Anthony had a few good years. Uh, we got a Emil Brown debut from Fleer Tradition 97. Uh, what is this? Is this a reprint? This is an original. This is an 81 Ozzy Smith. That's an original, that's not a reprint, folks. Look at this card. Beautiful, sharp corners. I've never seen this card before. Um, that logo looks kind of weird to me. I don't know what the deal is with this card, but... Uh, there is no indication or reason for me to believe this is a reprint. So I'm gonna go under the assumption that this is an original 81 Tops Ozzy Smith. Really, really nice card. Um, possibly the card of the box. Um, great card. Uh, Alex Fernandez. Draft pick card from 91 tops. Um, Alex Fernandez was a really good prospect for a while. Decent pitcher. 
Didn't turn into a whole lot, but had some good years. Leo Gomez Gold Cup. We got a Danny Hudson from Series 1 of 2020. Rookie card. Love rookie cards. See if he turns out to be anything good. John Burkett. We got a Darren Bragg. And a Steve Olin. So, doing really well so far. Let's see if we can keep this going. Wish these packs would rip open a little bit cleaner. They're leaving part of the plastic and I'm afraid they're gonna ding the cards. So, gotta be extra careful. Brad Bergson. Got a Juan Pierre from 2005 tops. Uh, Brooks Robinson. No, that's not an original. That's a Legends of Baseball from, uh, when is this from? From 1990. Onyx Concepcion. We got some rookies. Tito Landrum. Tito Landrum rookie card. I'm going to put this aside uh, for my cousin Joe. I believe Tito Landrum has a connection with his wife. If I'm not mistaken, so I will check with him on that. Uh, 2018, Ellen and Ginter, Dansby Swanson. Dansby Swanson. Marty Barrett. We got a Carlos Beltran. Opening day from 2007. Uh, despite the cheating scandals, I always liked Beltran when he was with the Mets. Um... We got a Brewers team card right there, and a Matt Morris from Fleer Tradition. Uh, it might be Matt Morris's rookie card. I believe that's uh, believe that's his rookie. No, it's not his rookie. So there goes that pack. Let's go down to about a dozen packs. Uh, looks like eleven packs to go. So. See what else we can find. Again, this is three brothers in a card store. Um, I love their repack boxes. These wax wax pack boxes are are really really good. A lot of fun to open. Um, I'll be most likely ordering another one at some point soon. I'll open that one up on the channel. Here's a tops. Uh, what is this? Co-signers, Tops Co-signers, 2008. I've never seen this card before, but another Chipper Jones that might be a, an insert of some sort. There's a, uh, a Christian Yelich from Bowman, 2019. Uh, Anthony Rizzo from 2016 Series 1. Sorry, a little off-center there. Uh, we got a Bagwell from Tradition, 2008. Three, Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer right there. like that card. Uh, we got a Tale of the Tape. Manny Ramirez from Fleer Tradition. Insert card from 1998. Fleer Tradition. Pretty cool insert card right there. We got a Frank Rodriguez. Alan Mills. Oral Hershiser. Great pitcher, best known for his uh, consecutive scoreless inning streak. We got a Cal Ripken Jr. from Upper Deck MVP. Pretty cool card. And a Henry Cotto to end it. Finding some really interesting cards. Um, I've got to say, I'm approaching... I think I'm approaching, if not exceeded the value of the pack. Um, at least to me. Um, maybe, maybe not quite there yet, but real, real close. Um, real happy with this, with this box so far. Um, for fun, if you want to take a look back at the first video, compare it to this one. Let me know which you think is the better one. Um, if the first box or the second box produced the better value. There's a 91 classic Mark McGuire. That's pretty cool. Nikosaski, George Vukovic from 1981. We got a Buddy Solomon from 79. 
and a John Wallace from 79. Uh, we got a Panini Prism, Andre Dawson, a Hawk from 2019 Panini Prism. Always loved Andre Dawson. And we got a Manny Ramirez from Fleer Tradition, 1999. Fleer Tradition, Manny Ramirez. All right. Next pack up. Ah, this one ripped a little bit here, so not sure how easy it's going to be to get these cards out. Let's try the top. No. Let's refer to the scissors. We'll do a nice clean cut here so that we don't destroy the cards. There we go. All right. Hate to find something really good and end up digging the corner. All right, Art Howe from 84 tops leading it off. Alex Colome, pretty decent closer. That's gonna be from Heritage of this year. We got a Marty Cordova. We got the crime dog, Fred McGriff from Fleer 88. Uh, love Fred McGriff. Think he should be at least under consideration for the Hall of Fame. We got a Manny Machado Superstar Sensations card. Uh, that's from this year's or last year's tops set as an insert. Manny Machado still in his Orioles uniform. Uh, we got another Bernie Williams Fleer Ultra. Pretty cool. 2002 Ultra Bernie Williams. Hal Morris, Tom Hankey, BJ Serhoff. And on the back is a another checklist with Manny Ramirez. So a lot of Manny Ramirez cards. This is going to be a 97 Fleer checklist. Oh, like Manny Ramirez, don't mind getting his cards. Okay, next pack up. There's a nice card right on top. Kenny Lofton, rated rookie card. Not a tremendous amount of value, but I loved Kenny Lofton when he was playing uh, with the Indians. Speedster, great average guy. Came up in the Astros organization. Uh, we got a series caps award-winning year, 1988. Commemorative insert. Who's a... Uribe. Hometown Heroes of David Wright. Like that card a lot. Insert with David Wright. One of my favorite and many Mets fans' favorites. David Wright will always get a spot on screen for me. We got a Xavier Hernandez. We got another Jim Palmer, this time from 82 Donruss. So we got his 81 Fleer and his 82 Donruss card. Uh, the 81 Fleer was really great centering and everything. This is a little left to right misaligned or right to left um, and a little top to bottom. So not the greatest centering. The corners are still really, really good. But uh, I like that 81 Fleer a lot better. Yvonne DeJesus from, nine, uh, from 79. Steve Trout. Paul O'Neill and Dave Dravecki round out that pack. Getting down towards the end here. Looks like we got about seven packs left. Please make sure you do hit that subscribe button and like this video. Let me know what you think about Three Brothers in a Card Store. Um, I love their product. And look at that right on top. We got a Johnny Franco rookie card. John Franco rookie card, and it's in great shape. The bottom left corner actually has a tiny ding. 
Um, not going to grade it, but Franco, one of the one of the best lefty closers, um, right up there. Um, you know, with the likes of Billy, um, uh, Billy, uh, what was his name? Billy Wagner drew a blank right there, and uh, we're all this Chapman nowadays. But John Franco rookie card, real nice. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we got a checklist Henry Rodriguez. We got a Julio Franco, Ross Jones. We got a Clayton Kershaw from 19 Optic. That's pretty cool. Action All-Stars, Clayton Kershaw. Insert card. It's a nice looking card right there. We'll put that over here. Uh, we got a Pudge Rodriguez. First pitch. 96. So... Pretty cool looking card right there from Score. Pudge Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. Mark McLemore. Got a Sammy Soda, uh, Soda. Sammy Sosa Limited. Counterparts. That's a pretty cool looking card. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Interesting. Pretty, pretty cool looking card. And Angel Hechevarria on the back. So, dual player card there. Kind of interesting. Uh, we got another Manny Machado. This is a Bowman Chrome from 2014. 2014 Bowman Chrome Manny Machado. Is that his rookie card? His rookie year? It's not his first Bowman. This might be a Manny Machado rookie. I gotta look this up. Um, I don't remember if he was 2014 or 2013. Um, if that's a rookie card of Machado, that that would be pretty wild. Uh, and Kyle Farnsworth from Heritage rounds out the pack. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that, but if that's a Machado rookie, that's, that's something else. Okay, got about half a dozen packs left. Getting towards the end of the video. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, we've got a Raleigh Fingers from SP Legendary. It's a pretty nice looking card right there. Raleigh Fingers Hall of Famer. we got a Jimmy Fox from Fleer. Your 2002 Fleer. Josh Beckett, George Bell, O.W. McDowell. We've got another Chipper Jones right there from Topps Heritage. That's going to be from, uh, not sure what year Heritage that is. 2009, it looks like. So 2009 Heritage Chipper Jones. We'll put that with the other ones. Polonia. And we got a Mike Tyson from 74 Tops. No, that is not Mike Tyson, the boxer. That is Michael Ray Tyson, the baseball player. All right, so we are down to five packs. Five packs remaining. Still on those three hits, which I'm, I'm still happy about. Um, they all came on the one side of the box. Who knows, maybe we'll find something else here. We got a Jason Bure, Bowman. Not sure what this is. Um, not sure what this is. Pretty cool looking card. I'm not sure if this is an insert, if this is Bowman Draft. But uh, Jason Bure, pretty decent player. Um, there's another Ken Griffey Jr. Rookies and stars. He is certainly a star. Ken Griffey Jr. We'll put that with the other Griffey Juniors right up there. Uh, we got a Mad Bum from Heritage. That's going to be 2012. So second year Mad Bum card looking really young there. Let's put that in a sleeve. Like the looks of that card. Really thick stock too as a heritage card. Put that up there. We are 
running out of room. Mookie Betts from Tops 2017. Yeah, 2017. So that's a Mookie Betts second year card. 2017 Series 1. Nice card right there. Let's see if I can move this back just a touch. Get some of these other cards on screen. Got a nice Duke Snyder from Stadium Club. Always loved Stadium Club's photography. Uh, league uh, Athletics leaders. We got a Hal McRae. Doc Gooden. Is that a Galarraga? Yep. Big Cat Andres Galarraga. Okay, next pack up. Let's see if we could finish this video off with one or two more nice hits. Okay. On top, we got a Keith Folk, Bruce Hurst, John Matlock from 84. Uh, we got a legendary cuts from SP of Whitey Ford. Pretty cool card. We'll put that aside in the For My Cousins pile. Uh, we got a Roger Clemens from Fleer 90, player of the decade. Roy Oswalt, opening day from 2011. Uh, Stat Kings from Big League, is this? Edwin Diaz, Kimbrell, and Blake Treon. Nothing too crazy there. Mark Lemke, Bob Kipper, and Joe Levito. So nothing too amazing in that pack. Three packs remaining. I know I got a couple of comments after I posted the first video. I hope this one is helpful as well. Todd Cruz. We also have an Ed Sprague stuck to Todd Cruz. There he is from Donruss. Got a Vern Rule. Vern Rule from 74. 76, I keep forgetting. Um, Vern Rule, pitching coach nowadays. Again, really great condition on these older cards. Charlie Liebrandt, all-time record holders. Walter Johnson and Nolan Ryan. Uh, what year is this from? That's a 79 Tops card. Nolan Ryan and Walter Johnson, all-time strikeout leaders. Look at the condition of this card, too. No creases. The corners are sharp. Nolan in his Angels uniform. That's pretty crazy. So we'll put that on screen. We will take that all day long. Anything with Nolan Ryan is red hot nowadays. Uh, Dave Stapleton. And the last card of this pack is going to be a Terry Matthews. So, down to the final two. Final two packs. Got a Mickey Rivers on top from 70, 76, right? Yeah, 76. Got a little stain on it, but Mickey Rivers, 1976. Pretty cool card right there. Uh, just arranging a little bit. All right. We got a Clay Christensen from 85 Tops. Got a 79 Dave Parker. Uh, a lot of people think Dave Parker should be a Hall of Famer. Um, I think he is a fringe Hall of Famer and could certainly make it there. Uh, we got an Evan Longoria second year card. Evan Longoria. Still playing, really good player. Uh, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Giancarlo Stanton, uh, Stanton, commemorating Jackie Robinson Day. That's from 2017 tops. Got a Troy Tulowitzki. Not sure what this card is. Troy Tulowitzki, tops from 2012. A sticker. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to look into that and figure out what exactly that was. Tom Henke, Mitch Webster, Bob Melvin. Um, if you happen to have any idea what this Troy Tulowitzki card is, let me know. 
Um, this is what's on the back. 2012. That's the front. It's not a sticker, I don't think. 67 STT. So, leave a comment. Let me know if you've seen that card before. I'm just curious to know what it is. And here is our last pack of the video. Again, three brothers and a card store. Love this product. We'll most likely be buying another one. Uh, so, last pack, finishing it off. Bill Van Landingham leading this pack off. Got a Jeff Reardon. Steve Lombardozzi. Ugh, we got my least favorite set here. Fleer 91. Jack Clark. We got an 84 team leader card of Wade Boggs and Bob Ojeda. That's Boggs' second, second year, I believe. Looking really young there. We'll get that sleeved up. That's a nice card. All right, to finish this out, we got a Sandy Alomar Jr., Brad Radke, Ken Griffey Sr. from 79, and a Tom Hume, 79 Griffey. So overall, um, looking at what's on the, on the old board here, um, I'd say I got my money's worth. Uh, but love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think, just to do a quick recap. Here are the three hits. Um, they only guarantee one, but we ended up with three. Um, Jarrell Cotton, more recent card. Again, this is from 2017. And again, I'd love your help. I'm not sure exactly what this card is. Um, I'll look it up online, but if you have an idea, let me know. We got an Evan Marzilli autograph and a Tyler Goodell. Um, this Evan Marzilli, by the way, is numbered 143 out of 791. I didn't notice that before. Um, and then just a few of the cool cards that we got. Um, I love this Nolan Ryan. Again, showing him in his Angels Uni. Uh, we got a couple of Jim Palmer cards that were pretty nice. 82 Donruss and 81 Fleer. Got the John Franco rookie. We got this Manny Machado, which I got to look up and see. Might be his rookie, might be his second year card. Um... And then I also love that 78 Tops Mets card. This team card is pretty cool. Um, lots of other cards. Really happy with this box, just like I was with the previous one. Uh, but that's going to do it for the video. Hope everyone has a great week coming up. And I will see you next time on Searching for Hits with Eric. Have a great evening, everyone.